Hey friends, Rob here. Welcome to Cheyenne Coaching. In this video, we're going to be talking about studying and doing your master's in information technology and management. All right, welcome. Hey, at Cheyenne Coaching, we're all about um, seeing international students be successful in America. Be sure to subscribe so that you can be um, connected to us and get great future content on how to be successful here in America. I've got my good friends, Vanit and Sanket, who just graduated um, studying ITM, Information Technology and Management, also known as MIS, mm -hmm. similar around the US. Um, these guys are just about to leave for their jobs, really proud of them. And so we're gonna talk real quick about ITM and what it was like to study that here in America. Go for it, guys. ITM is a very flexible course. So there were five tracks to choose from. So the first one was business intelligence. Mm -hmm. It is mostly for the people who want to pursue careers in data analytics and business analytics. Mm -hmm. The second was uh, project management and consulting. Mm -hmm. People who want to become project managers, IT consultant for those people. Mm -hmm. Third was uh, healthcare analytics. Okay. The fourth was cyber security. And the fifth was the ERP track. Yeah, mm -hmm. right. So and which did you guys do? So we both, we both, we both did. The, the business the intelligence AI. track mm -hmm, mm -hmm. because our interest was more into analytics, data mm -hmm. analytics. That's the reason we pursued that track. And majority of the students go with that particular track. Basically, what I liked about the pro program was its flexibility. And uh, the program generally offers you flexibility of doing internships. Mm -hmm. uh, beyond like outside your state there are many universities here in us which allow you to do uh, internships uh, while you pursue your academics that's restricted uh, towards your state boundaries uh, like that i am aware of some universities in the east coast but mm. uh, this program uh, the itm program uh, generally uh, the jsom school allows you to uh, pursue internship along with your academics uh, not restricted to your uh, state and you can like, literally pursue internships uh, outside your state and uh, keep your course going as a uh, parallel along mm. with that so that's one of the advantages second advantage basically uh, what according to me is uh, the type of topics that you study in the course uh, those mm -hmm. are very advanced and uh, very relevant to uh, what the current market trend is and mm -hmm. what the current technologies the company is using. Mm -hmm. For example, we study a lot of, we do a lot of projects on Tableau, Power BI, we uh, study a lot of uh, latest technology in terms, uh, yeah, in terms of analytics. Python. Exactly. So that's the languages. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So that's mm -hmm. some of the latest uh, things which are being used in the industry in the uh, market so uh, when you are able to do all of this thing through your academics through your coursework you don't have to then do something uh, beyond it i mean mm. you uh, do the projects uh, you study the these courses uh, mm -hmm. as a part of your curriculum and then uh, when you go out for jobs the employers are expecting the latest knowledge from you uh, and you already know it you don't have to like go beyond your coursework and study uh, and take courses from like udemy udacity or coursera mm -hmm. uh, all of the things you are studying in the uh, curriculum it's a uh, latest and that's i think one of the second benefits of mm -hmm. this course so what you know? tips would you guys have for people who are considering coming to America, maybe ITM, what should they consider and whether it's a good option or not a good option for them? I think people who want to, you know, pursue careers and data analytics, business analytics, I feel they should definitely join the program. Apart from that, also people who want to go into project management side who have lots of experience back in India around four mm -hmm. five years and now are considering a managerial role. Mm -hmm. So even those people can come and join the ITM program because there are a lot of good subjects to choose from mm -hmm. which can yes. give them the necessary exposure and also the experience which needs mm -hmm. which which is which which they will need in the industry. My advice the course is a perfect blend of uh, you know uh, studying technology along with uh, learning the business acumen so you get to learn both the things uh, that's the best part of it secondly uh, the uh, benefit is the faculty uh, which is taking one of these courses uh, mm. they are pretty uh, pretty helpful very easy to reach out to so definitely uh, that's a plus point and I would uh, recommend this course to uh, all of the fellow students who want to kind of think about some diversified options mm -hmm. uh, beyond technology uh, who want to expand the domain of their skill sets mm -hmm. uh, to 
business as well as technology definitely a recommendation for mm -hmm. uh, people who are uh, having such interests last question then how is the job market right now especially for cpt internships opt full-time jobs after graduation which you guys are about to start mm -hmm. what would you tell people about itm and the factor of jobs i think there are a lot of jobs Lots of jobs. Lots of yes. Yeah, there are, there are lots of jobs. I yes. Think. Unlike I think for the uh, BI track, I mean, there are lots of jobs, and I think most of the people mm -hmm. we know, like everyone has got placed somewhere. Maybe they won't get it like in the first time, mm -hmm. but maybe after one or two months of searching, mm -hmm. eventually everyone gets a job over here because there are there is lot of scope. It's a growing field, mm -hmm. and uh, there is a good demand for it. So. Yeah, I mean, if you're technically sound mm. and uh, also, if you can fit in, if you can, mm -hmm. yeah, if you can fit in their particular work environment, they'll hire you. I would say, like, if you really want to pursue, you should go for it. Yes, I mean, uh, I'm also uh, having a similar opinion. I mean, there are, there are a lot of jobs, and uh, season has been very active. Uh, people have been getting a lot of offers from a uh, lot of good offers from uh, good companies. Uh, there has been a lot of activities in terms of getting interview calls so unlike uh, things that you listen to on your news uh, I don't think that's much more relevant uh, mm. and uh, there are a lot of jobs and companies too uh, are supporting in terms of sponsorship and in mm. terms of you know employment so uh, if the only thing I would give uh, my fellow junior students a tip is you know just be proactive be genuinely interested in what you're studying just be proactive from day one don't let it lose be more aware be more active uh, keep yourself updated with the mm. latest things in your particular interest in your particular field and you'll definitely land a, a really good offer uh, hopefully from a really good company with uh, support for sponsorship persistence is the other thing that I would say uh, really counts so really uh, I would encourage my juniors to be persistent be more aware and be, be more proactive uh, in your particular field your particular area of interest mm -hmm. great thoughts guys uh, hopefully what Sanket and Vineet said will be really helpful to you in determining whether ITM, Information Technology and Management, is a great choice for you to study here in America. Uh, thanks for joining us again at Chai and Coaching. Hope this video has been helpful. We really want to see you guys succeed here in America. Be sure to um, subscribe below to stay connected and be able to get future great content and helpful videos like these guys are making. And we'll see you th next time. Thanks so much for joining us. See you guys. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>